Hey guys, as I uh, promised, I, uh, I'm out doing a little short test on the Bushnell Speedster 3 um, radar gun. It's a K-Band. This particular gun is uh, at 24.150 on the frequency and uh, I've got it in miles per hour mode. I'm just gonna stick it and um, you pull the trigger one time, it puts it in uh, transmit mode. Uh, you pull it again, it turns it off. If you hold down the trigger, it transmit as, transmits as long as you hold it down, you let go, it still transmits. So uh, the basic idea here is just to pull the trigger once and you can see the icon up top that has a little radar symbol on it and then you pull it again and it stops so as cars go past trying to get the angle here I'll go ahead and turn it on transmit here and you can watch as it clocks them this is a 40 mile per hour speed limit post speed limit road And you can see people are obeying the law. <laughs> you know, it's going to pick up oncoming cars as well. People are coming down a hill at this junction. Let's see. Traffic's died down. I'll go back this way. That guy's doing a little over. Sure, people aren't too happy with me pointing a radar gun at them, but I'm not a cop. Just demonstrating the gun. It's very, very, very accurate. I'm going to do another video comparing it, which this has been done before, but I'm going to do another video comparing this gun with a uh, Stalker ATR just to show you how accurate it is compared to a police grade gun. Here's a guy looks like it's going pretty fast. Yeah, he's well in the 50s. So, I know there's not much to this. And then oncoming traffic. I'm aiming it through the viewfinder of the camera. So there we are. And what you want to do with a radar gun, if you're doing it with cars um, and pretty much any object, is you want to be on axis. And what that means is, let's take this car for example. Let's say this car is moving. Let me back up so we can get the whole car in the frame. Random car here. And say I'm clocking the car at 90 degrees. Uh, this is what's referred to as off axis. And you are not going to get a correct speed from the gun if you clock directly uh, perpendicular to the car or, or off axis. You want to be at an angle, preferably the absolute best scenario is if you had the gun and, and you're clocking just straight on, right? But most of the time you can't stand out in the middle of the road for obvious reasons. So if you're off like I was at, at an angle, you know, about like this, uh, you're gonna get accurate speeds. The more you increase that angle to 90 degrees, the less accurate it's going to be. And, and there's a bunch of physics and math that go along with uh, explaining this that I'm not gonna get into. But, you know, just uh, letting you, you guys know that if you happen to wanna play with your gun a little bit and clock cars in your neighborhood or out and about for whatever reasons, uh, just don't do it like this. Don't, don't point on the road like this. Make sure you're at an angle. And as close as you can get to like this, the better the uh, the accuracy is going to be. There's a car I'm following. So 40, another guy a little faster. Another guy. 
at 44 and the gun yeah see that guy's up at 48 49 50 51 And this is definitely, uh, you know, we got a 57 there. I don't know if that was from oncoming that Jeep right there or if it was from uh, the car I was following there. But again, this is the Bushnell Speedster 3. Bushnell makes um, uh, a Velocity model as well that's just a little bit cheaper. It's not as big as this. It, it looks quite a bit different. It doesn't have a constant on, so for example, when you pull the trigger, uh, and I'll let go of the trigger, and it's going to give you the fastest uh, reading that was displayed, uh, if I remember the manual correctly. <clears throat> so, apparently the fastest clock that I got in there was 60. I don't remember seeing that, but, you know. Um, but back to the gun. This one runs $99 at... Uh, on uh, Amazon and it's prime as well so if you like to use the prime you can get it quickly you know of course you can find them on uh, eBay and whatnot and you'll see them range from about $99 upwards to I'd say 130 140 so uh, but I advise you to go to Amazon look around and, and get the $99 gun if you happen to find one used uh, and, uh, and it's not broken, you know, and uh, I'd buy it. If it's only, like, say, $10 cheaper, I'd go ahead and buy the new one for obvious reasons. But if it's like, you know, say, 50 bucks uh, for obvious reasons, you know, go used with it. You know, because they, I mean, these things last a long time. Uh, and you see this hole down here. That is a uh, tripod mount hole, just like you would have on a camera. Um, very handy if you want to set this up and you would just get the gun as is self-intuitive here and you put it on a tripod and you would just spin it around until this you know is locked in tight on the tripod and you don't have to hold it anymore because uh, a primary the, I mean the primary use of this gun uh, the most popular use I would imagine uh, would be to clock um, uh, a pitching and uh, you know whether that's baseball or softball or whatnot <clears throat> so for that a lot of people you would get down closer to, to where the angle of the uh, ball is going to be coming in the catcher's mitt off to the side you know say the catcher's over here a little bit and you would angle it up towards where about where the ball is going to go and it will be quite accurate um, uh, it's plus or minus one mile per hour, which all radar guns that are any good, even the police grade, are have that error range in them. Uh, this one uh, will clock a baseball size object from 90 feet is the specs, which is a bit longer than say the Bushnell Velocity. Uh, and for cars, for vehicles, turn it back on and see if we can't see something else coming on you know I can clock from a ways away you know I'm kind of getting blocked here by some objects but you can see the range is quite quite good the manual states that it will clock a car from 1500 feet so that's over a quarter mile uh, you know a mile is 5,280 feet if you do 1500 times 4 that's gonna be 6,000 feet so it's a little bit over uh, a quarter of a mile range stated in, uh, in the manual for cars, which, you know, is plenty. So uh, I highly recommend the gun, and that's the test. I uh, hope you enjoyed it for whatever that's worth. And like I said, I, at some point I'm going to make a uh, video comparing this to a Stalker ATR, KA band radar gun, which... Uh, which will just show how accurate the gun is compared to a uh, much more expensive uh, police grade and used gun. So, um, again, Bushnell Speedster 3 K-Band radar gun. <laughs>